Hello everyone, welcome to Campfire. It's me again, Elan. In this video, I am going to show you how to run X360CE in any generic gamepads available in the market. I'll also show you how to enable the analog vibrations in generic gamepads. But before anything else, don't forget to subscribe in this channel. So, let's go! So, um, here's the things that you must have on your desktop for you to be able to run your uh, generic gamepad in your Windows uh, machine. So, first you need to install this universal joystick driver um, created by Speedlink Vibrate, I guess, and then um, you need to extract um, one of this X360 CE file on your root folder but first you need to know what kind of game do you have or what um, what version of games you have if you have 32-bit or 64-bit or something like that I think this Dark Darksider an old game is a 32-bit uh, so you need to use the 32-bit uh, X360 CE on this one okay Okay, don't forget to install this one first okay and then after you install this one you can plug it plug in your your gamepad this it should detect as a universal joystick now uh, you need to find the root folder of your game by right clicking on it and open file location now you are on your root folder directory of your game the next thing you do is copy or just drag this x360ce in your root folder just the 32 bit one where is it there and then extract inside there and then right click this one again and run as administrator click yes now uh, it should prompt you that it wants to create a uh, synpot file for your game directory just yeah, click create because the uh, game will use this one as your configuration for your for your gamepad and then see this one it detects as a speedlink gamepad driver now if you didn't install this one at the first uh, at the first step you won't be able to to open this one believe we got it won't work so you need to install this one first install this one first and then click next wait for you and then finish now you should see this empty key mapping option of your 360 uh, now you need to do is click the auto click yes then bam there it is now the next thing that you would do is you're gonna go um, enable the analog vibration for your gamepad right so you need to go to the first feedback option and then drag the strength from zero all the way to 100% and then click save and then go back again into your general setting set your your preferred buttons if it's okay now click save again and then that's it you're good to go you you'll be able to use your generic gamepad now then click close so this is the short video using the generic gamepad and it works and about the uh, analog vibrate it does work well of course you can see it right so there now for those of you wondering if this method will work in other games the answer is yes just don't forget to copy the X360CE 
in the root folder and run it from there. Remember guys, root folder or bin folder of the game. And that's it.